Minecraft is a beautiful game with endless possibilities. But in Minecraft Hardcore, you only got one chance. No matter how long you've played or what crazy things you've built, at any moment it could be all over. In Minecraft Hardcore videos, close calls happen all the time. And while some YouTubers end up being extremely lucky, others certainly don't. The Minecraft Legends Filza and Looney lost the world both at around 6500 days after building some of the coolest things I've ever seen in Minecraft. And then there's me. I never played Minecraft. And I never even had a computer. So I had a choice. I could continue being a hobby YouTuber and post random mobile gaming stuff. Or I could take all money I saved since I was 5 years old to buy a computer and spend all day learning how to make great YouTube videos to make my dream come true and become a Minecraft YouTuber when I finish school in a year. Guess what I did? In this video we have to complete 4 goals. Find a safe place before the first night. Acquire decent equipment, build a barn for some animals, and make a first starter house. But most importantly, we have to survive. Welcome to the Winnale Adventure. Alright, that's where it all starts. Pretty cold out here. Oh, I think we should try out our boat. Holy, this is so fast. Let's try to find a nice place to stay. Wait, there's a village. And nothing is safer than a village, so we already completed our first goal. Oh, we actually have a weapon smith. Let's see what's in the chest. Wait. We got diamonds, iron boots, and also some bread. That was a really good chest. We got three diamonds, that's awesome. Wait, it's a second weaponsmith? Dude, that's crazy. You got five obsidian and even more iron armor. Dude, that village is crazy. Let's get some food. Now let's get our first stone. And that was day one of a new adventure. We were so lucky to find a village, this really helps to stay alive. And it seems to be going well. But it was at this point where progress got so much slower. Looting the village was an easy task, but the next challenge was to get equipment. And I had no idea how. I think the easiest way to get some iron would be to kill the golem. Iron doesn't fall from the sky, I'm sorry bro. And let's plant the flower in memory of the iron golem on this single grass block. I'm sorry, I will always remember you. Wait, I actually need the iron bag. And I also need tons of wood. Let's start mining. After farming tons of resources, I decided to settle down and start making this place look like home. Now the first thing I want to do is building a barn. I've never built something in Minecraft before. This is literally my first build ever. So I just started trying around. And just like that, the first outline of the building was done. And it was awful. So I did my best to make it look less awful. Alright, that's how it turned out. Now let's get some cows in a new home. 
You look pretty happy together. You should get a baby, I think. Yo, you look so cute. Even though I decided to build the barn first, I desperately needed better equipment. Mining tons of wood with a stone axe is not fun. So I headed across the sea and started exploring small caves. I ended up with 27 iron and found another village on my way home. Found three more diamonds in the blacksmith chest and killed the iron golem. Now my plan to get diamond tools is to trade up a toolsmith. This means I have to buy like a million stone shovels and trade all the iron I have. Unfortunately I didn't have enough iron to unlock the diamond tools yet, but I could buy a really nice enchantment enchanted iron pickaxe. I immediately started to search for a cave to find the last bit of iron. And this time, it really got scary. Now this is a huge cave. Okay, that zombie has a sword. Oh my god, that was scary, that could have been the end. And after I almost died, I started to mine all ores I could see. Guys, we barely even started. Yeah, that was enough money for me and it feels so good to see sunlight again. But most importantly, we probably have enough iron to fully level up the toolsmith. After buying my diamond axe and using the rest of my iron, I had to buy another silt touch pick and finish it all with stone shovels. And finally, there it is, a well-deserved shiny diamond pickaxe. It feels so good to finally have diamond tools. Now it's really time to take a break from all the hard work. Just relax and do nothing at all. Starting with tons of energy into the next day, it's time to build our own house. We've been camping around the area for almost a month now, but now that we have diamond tools, nothing can keep us from completing our last goal. I started to think of a good design and maybe I got a little inspired by the internet because I can't build. But I promise I'll do my best to get better. Let's start building. Very soon, only a few finishing touches were left. I got some sand to make windows, added some decorations, added stone, a lantern, slabs, fences, and placed our very first seat. And then, after so much work, it finally was ready. And there I was standing in the sunset, admiring the beauty of a new house and waiting for the night to start. I was chilling around until I realized, wait, this is still hardcore and I don't really want to die already. So I ran into my new house as fast as I can and started to fight all the mobs in front of my door. I was really careful and it went pretty well. I even placed torches around the house. But there were mobs everywhere and it won't let me sleep. I had to fight them. And right when I was trying to kill a spider hanging from my roof, I mean, at the end of the day we survived and completed all of our goals. But we almost died, a house got blown up, I still have no pants. And the worst is yet to come. The nether and the end. But this is something for the next video.